say anything. I know. Say a word, will you? Take your coat off. for a long time. I went in a boy. But I come out a man. You can take the card. You can take anything. I, I don't care. Thank you. I think I will. Open your door. I'll gut you like a pig. Go on. Mm, mm, mm. Girlfriend, new car, like the world is just waiting for a rat to come back. Comfy now. It's gonna be a long night. We are just getting started. Don't go nowhere. Come out wherever you are. last night so I just left Charlotte around three in the morning and been driving all night I'm just getting into foothill now it's 
good to be home. Never thought I'd say that. Oh God, it's been um, 20 years. I haven't been here since my parents divorced when I was eight. I'm having total deja vu though. This town is exactly the same. It's like a time warp. No, I'm about to head up to the house now with my two iced coffees. An old friend of my dad takes care of the place, so it's ready and waiting. He mailed me the keys last month and said, whenever you're ready. Guess I'm finally ready. It's been easier to stop drinking, actually. I thought maybe the nightmares would go away once I got clean, but they're only getting worse. It's the same thing. I'm lost in the woods, only now there's a man following me or I'm following him. I don't want to talk about it. I'm just, I'm hoping being back here helps me snap out of it. I've had enough nightmares both asleep and awake. Tipping those for your dead homies. Who's there? Just me. I didn't mean to scare you. Who are you and what are you doing behind my house? I'm sorry. I'm Johnny Lee. Wayne's my uncle. I was just returning some tools to your shed. I meant to come by earlier, but the day got away from me. You know how it is. What time is it? It's almost eight. I figured it wasn't too late to pop by. I live up in Hot Springs, so it's a bit of a drive. Oh, well, I'd offer you a beer, but <laughs> I have soda. I know. I put them there. Oh, you help your uncle out? Do you take care of the place with him? 
with him, for him, whatever he needs, you know? Uh, he, uh, he never mentioned having any help. He, he never told me about you. And that don't surprise me. You're paying him after all, not me. Did you need money? Nah, I give my cut. I don't do a whole lot, really. Mowed the grass a couple times, stocked your fridge. Other than that, I borrowed some of your tools from other gigs. Rebuilt that four-wheeler engine, too. Took her for a couple spins. She rides like a dream now. Is there a four-wheeler? Yeah, in the shed. Ain't it yours? No. <laughs> well, hell, I'd have drove some bitch home if I knew that. <laughs> well, that's good to know. I'll keep an eye on you. If you like. Well, I'm gonna roll. You, uh, let me know if you get sick of the mountains. Wanna come to Hot Springs sometime. It's where all the pretty girls hang out. How do I reach you? Uncle Wayne will tell you. I'm sure he'll tell you all about it. Oh, I, um, I'm Emma, by the way. I know. Springs. I got a hot spring for you. You were a little girl last time I saw you. What was that, 99, 2000, what were you, 9, 10? Something like that. So what do you do up there, Em? In Boston? I guess I always thought there'd be something more. I have been known to uh, dole out one or two pieces, sometimes three of good advice. What are the problem parts? It might be quicker if we start with what aren't the problem parts. Okay. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's, it's my fault. I just... I let things get away from me. Hey, don't beat yourself up over this. It happens to all of us. Some of us just realize sooner than later. Are you in recovery? Well, no, but I have cut back a lot. No more hard stuff for me. 
been a couple of years since uh, I had anything stronger than what's to get in a can. Good for you, Wayne. But, uh, what I need to do is get off the goddamn cigarettes. That's what I need to do. But I am working on it. Yeah. Well, you know, one thing at a time. Worst first. Worst first. When I got here and I saw those beers in the refrigerator, I thought, oh God, why would he do that to me? And then I realized there's no way that you could know what I've been going through. But uh, Johnny Lee came by and he told me that he put them there. Did you say Johnny Lee was here? Mm-hmm. When? Last night, he dropped off some tools. Did you let him in? No, oh no, no, I actually, we talked outside. What's the matter? You're starting to freak me out, Wayne. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Nothing's wrong, I'm, I'm sorry. Why don't we take a ride together? We'll swing by my place. I want to give you something. And then I got to go to the hardware store. Anyway, like I was saying, it was the drugs that finally did Johnny Lee in. He was stealing cars to support his habit. So he's violent? No, I mean, it wasn't him. It was the drugs, you know? I mean, you know what it's like. <sighs> I am sorry. I didn't mean... No, it's okay. I do know what it's like. <sighs> yeah, well... Drugs are the least of his problems now. Johnny Lee was sentenced to five years for assault and possession. A couple weeks ago, two convicts escaped from upstate. He was one of them. Cops came by here right after it happened. They turned the place upside down. Came back about a week ago. Even though I told them I hadn't seen the little shit in years. Even still, I can't turn him in. I mean, if they pick him up, I mean, that's something. But I, I can't make the call on blood. I just can't. Neither can I. There's no reception at the house. <laughs> Check the windows and they are rock solid. No one is getting in this house without the new key. Thanks, Wayne. Don't mention it. If you have any problems, just give me a call or... Run down the mountain until I hit service and then give you a call? Or that. <laughs> Will do. Thanks again for everything. I appreciate it. Okay, no problem. So, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, what time? Oh, for dinner? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, whenever? 7.30s? 7.30s, great. Okay, great. Cool.
throw something at me? Nope. Probably a bass. Wayne loaded this pond up a while back, and uh, I've seen some big ones. What are you doing out here in the woods, Johnny Lee? Ah, uh, just taking a walk, enjoying the fresh air. You? Just relaxing. I thought I was alone. Things aren't always what they seem. So I hear. You look like you could use some company. No, actually, I'd rather be alone if that's okay. Oh, what kind of fun is that? I'm not exactly looking for fun. Well, how do you know unless you have some? Come over here. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> All right, then maybe I'll just swim on over to you. Oh, that's a great idea. So you can die of hypothermia or drown in those shit kickers on the way over. I'm fine with that. Yeah, you're right. That's way too much downside for a girl who'd rather be alone. Glad we're on the same page. Well, you have a great day, Johnny Lee. It was nice running into you. Mm-hmm. so bad now, was it? So what are we doing? Don't know. What do you want to do? I think I want to go home. All right, be my guest. You know how to drive that thing? Not at all. Throttle, brake, keep the creek on your right to get back. When you cross over, I don't know where you'll go. So are you just gonna hang out here? Yeah. This is my place. I'm uh, between homes right now. Yours is a little more comfortable. How long have you been here? Hey, longer than I wanted to be. But I ain't complaining. It's a roof over my head. Even got some new clothes from the nook upstairs. Kind of my size. I'm not the first punk to squat here. Are you eating? Sometimes. I know which berries give you the shits. <laughs> Do you need anything? Anything? That leaves it wide open. Are you offering something specific? Yeah, a shower, a meal. Well, now you're speaking my language, miss. How about tomorrow? Okay. Don't come by the house, I'll come pick you up. So you just want me to wait here, huh? Are you really in a position to say no? What do you care what position I'm in, city girl? I'll probably come by later after dark. You can find your way back out here in the dark? Of course. Don't make me come all the way back out here for nothing. These woods have ticks. Woods have all kinds of things. Oh! <laughs> hey, careful the coyotes. See you later. 
Clutch. 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 shouldn't have. No worries. It's not right to see a beautiful girl move into her new old house and not get some housewarming flowers. <clears throat> Happy to oblige. You're sweet. Why don't you hang out in here and make yourself comfortable and I'll go in there and see if I can work some big city magic on Bambi. It's best not to personify. It's just deer meat. It's a lot less la, painless la, and more la, quick. La, la, la. Okay, I'll get off my soapbox. You don't do your thing and I'll go watch some TV. That's better. Except that I actually don't have any TV service. But there's some DVDs in there if you want to look through those. I think I put those in there a couple years ago. But that's okay. It's been a while since I watched them anyhow. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I just I haven't really been thinking much about home entertainment. I've just been relaxed. As well you should be. Go in there and work your magic. That's Arkansas's best venison in there. I always say, when they ask me at those town hall meetings, what this town needs is a beautiful local girl to grab the reins and show those idiots what makes this community great. You should be mayor here, you know that? <laughs> right, there's an idea. No, no, I'm serious. I am serious now. You have world experience. You're intelligent. You're beautiful. I mean, people find that attractive. They'd be attracted by you. I'm attracted to you. Okay, on that note, why don't you have a glass of water? You really tore into that wine, Wayne. You still have to drive home. Ah, wine's not the hard stuff. I don't do the hard stuff anymore, remember? I remember. Good, because those days are long gone. For both you and me, huh? Hey, uh, you know, I'm actually pretty tired. I, I think I might turn in soon. Bedtime. 
Yeah, I think so. Thanks for dinner. I, uh, I had fun. Wing, so what are you nice doing? Nice to have you Wing. back. Okay, go! Fuck! I'm sorry. Damn, that's not cool. Sorry, I didn't know. I just want to say. If Johnny Lee gives you any more trouble, you can count him. No strings attached. No help. <laughs>
water. Okay. You're burning up. Are you sure you don't want me to take you to a hospital? I'll take my chances. Did a coyote do this? Not a coyote. What was it? A wolf. A big one. and knock off the one letters on your deathbed, buddy. Just rest, okay? Just don't laugh. Don't worry about anything. Just try to rest. Is there anything that can get you? Do you need anything? If you, if you need anything, there's this bell right here.
good book. What are you doing out of bed, Johnny Lee? Is everything all right? You're sweating. How do you feel? Hungry. That's a good sign, I think. Can you swallow? Good, okay. Do you want something to eat? How about some soup? Chicken noodle or vegetable? Chicken noodle? Okay. Why don't you go sit down while I make this? You want to use the rocking chair? Is that a gun? Yeah, it's a gun. I don't like this at all. Wolves hunt by night, and once they get a taste of blood, they'll come back for more. steak or something? No, we don't have a steak. I have soup for you, but you have to come back inside to get it. <laughs> come get it! Johnny Lee, either come back inside with me right now, or I'm gonna lock you out and you could just sleep outside. Sleeping outside for weeks. What's another night? Johnny, please. I'm worried about you. You don't look so good. Please. Well, you're not all that yourself, Missy. George, <laughs> fuck you. Just sleep outside then. Fuck you too. Maybe I will. Oh! <laughs> 
Give me that four figures here. Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, when was the last time I saw her, you know? What, 10, 15 years ago? It's, uh, it's like, it's a long time, long, long, long time. I mean, a girl grows up to be a woman, you know? I mean, I'm, you know, a woman. I mean, not a kid, you know, not, not a little kid, you know, a woman. I mean, what, what are you gonna do with that? Like um, to the, the air. So like, what's that saying? Uh, the air, the air is humid. Human. Yeah. No. No. The um, to air is human. To forgive is divine. Ah, what he said. That's it. Ain't that the fucking truth? To forgive is divine. It, 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 it is. I mean, it, it really is. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it right. I'm gonna apologize to her. I'm gonna go over there, and if she, if she doesn't like it, <laughs> then she can shoot me. Hell, I gave her the gun. Cash me out, Jeeves. I got a date with a beautiful woman.
you doing, Uncle Wayne? Maybe I should ask you the same question. Go ahead. What are you doing here, Johnny Lee? I came to see my new friend, Emma. What's your excuse? Got no excuse. Don't need one. But I do, huh? Yeah, I think you do. Why is that? You know why. See, there you go with your games again. No, no games, just the truth. Okay, just the truth then. You still like him young. <laughs> Look at that, struck a nerve, didn't I? That's why you're here, ain't it? Go to hell, Chunky. I've already been. It's not so bad. Warmer than sleeping in a shack in the woods. Is that where you've been hiding out? Yeah, plain sight, more or less. Bet the sheriff would be real interested in that. Want to see him at church tomorrow? I'll ask him to swing by and say hi. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, Uncle Wayne. But you ain't no rat. We low lives stick together, don't we? She's kind of old for you. <laughs> Get in your truck, old man. You've been drinking again. I can smell it from here. You stay away from this house. She don't want you here. Aha! Uh -huh. That is why you keep sniffing around here. It ain't statutory if they're over 18, Wayne. You think that scares me? You are not capable of scaring me! Go and use it. Pussy! Go and pull the trigger. You are an escaped convict, trespassing on private property. I'll be a hero, and you'll be dead. <laughs> That's how you're gonna be a hero? Shooting your unarmed nephew? You old bastard. Go and shoot me! Uncle Wayne. We were sillies. You escaped together. I don't know about all that. I escaped. He kind of tagged along. Easier than Lee and him inside to run his big mouth. Knew all my plans. I had no choice here. He forced my hand. I bet he did. <laughs> you showed him. You're hurt. I'd rather be hurting.